Hey guys, Chris here with CrossFit South Cobb, and I just want to take a minute to talk about listening to your body and monitoring your activity inside and outside of the gym when it comes to choosing your workout and workload for each day. The way I like to talk about that is a load versus capacity graph, right? Up here, here we're going to have all of the things that we come into every day with, right? Here's our 100% capacity. And for some of you, capacity means pain. But for a lot of us, it's just, what's our capacity, right? I can shoulder press 100 pounds, right? 101, that's above my capacity. That's, it's just not gonna go, right? So it can be a strength capacity, it can be a volume capacity. But most of the time, we stay below our capacity, we have no problem, right? We go above our capacity, we have a problem, right? That problem could be as simple as, I just can't get the weight, right? I can't push that overhead, I can't squat that amount of weight, I'm just not there yet. Now, when it comes to injury, right, that's a big problem, right? We continue to go over our capacity, we're eventually looking at pushing a joint to the point of being injured, right? But what we come into every day with, and each day is a little bit different. So every day we will start off, some of us have anatomical defects, right? This could be a herniated disc. This could be a shoulder that I've recently had surgery on, or even five years ago had surgery on, and just haven't gained any of the range of motion from that, right? These are things that we come into every day it's the same, you know? Three weeks from now, I'm still gonna have that herniated disc. Whether it bothers me or not, it's a different thing, but it's still there. From there, we want to look at our stress, our diet, and our sleep, right? Over the last week, how has that been? Have you been eating like crap, or have you been on a really good, clean eating diet, right? Most of the time, that will go along with sleep. Right? If you're eating well, a lot of times you're sleeping well. So we want to keep those in line, right? as well as the stress that's built up. And this doesn't have to be within the gym. The gym is a stressor, which a lot of people think that it's relieving some stress, but it is stress on the body. So we want to look at what we came into that day with, stress, our diet, and our sleep. And the next thing we come into the day with is our functional diagnosis. right? This might look like an anatomical defect, but it's not, right? Some people say, oh, I've got a bad shoulder, but you've never had surgery, we've never had anything, so unless we have actually had that as a diagnosis from a doctor, our functional diagnosis is that I don't have the mobility or I don't have the flexibility to get into a certain range of motion, right? From there, each day we'll add in all right, now we have work home stress. This could be my drive to work was horrible. I, it was bad traffic. It took me twice as long. I started off the day late, right? My wife's upset with me because I ran out of the house and I didn't say anything to her, right? This could be a lot of different things that now happen on that day, right? And so now we're here. Now we want to start working out for some of us. Right? Let's say we've got thrusters in the workout. Right? No problem. I love thrusters. They always get my heart rate up. They make me feel good the next day. But then we add in, all right, some burpees. Great. No big deal. I'm feeling good. But then we go, all right, I'm going to add in some push presses. Man, shoulder just, just doesn't feel right. All right, but then we go in and we finish with some snatches. And now we're over our capacity. And now my shoulder's junky, right? And I go to the doctor, ask him, you know, hey, did this movement, right? You know, and my shoulder started bothering me. He's like, well, what was it? He was like, well, it's called a snatch. And he's like, well, I don't, I don't know what that is, right? Well, you throw weight over your head. He's like, duh, stop doing that, right? But he doesn't realize Yes, the snatch is what, in your mind, where you got hurt. But we had 
all of this other stuff that led us up to that. And some of this is preventable. All right? So each day, again, like we talked about, our anatomical defect is our anatomical defect. That's something that's not going to make any change anytime soon. Right? So that part is going to stay the same. However, if I'm eating well, if I've had a great night's sleep the night before, if my stress is low, right, I can lower this. And I can even get help lowering that as well, right? Here at CrossFit South Cobb, we have uh, nutrition coaching that could really help with that, right? That will help lower the diet, which will help lower the sleep and increase the amount of sleep that you're able to do and possibly lower the stress, right? So that's changeable from day to day. But at the same time, that could be higher if we've continued to eat bad every day. Now our functional diagnosis, this is something if we focus on and we pay attention to, we have a coach that can help lead us through movement in a more efficient way and we work on that, we can make improvements on our functional diagnosis, right? But we have to be willing to take a step back and do a different training plan, right? Something that's more specific to you so that we can get into fixing that, right? And now even say work home stress doesn't change. And we still do our thrusters. And we still do our burpees. And we still do our push presses. And finally our snatches. And we're still clear of our capacity. We still have room to do some other things, right? So again, these days can look different. This can look like a stressful Monday, right? You come in and because of the weekend, you have all these emails that now you have to catch up on and your daily stress is just through the roof, right? But then you're able to catch up, chill out by Wednesday or Thursday, we're down a little bit lower or vice versa. You just came back from vacation and we're lower. Our stress, our diet, our sleep, we're good. We were able to recover. We come into the day in a much better prepped for exercise. And so we're able to push a little bit harder, all right? So what we're also able to do, right? This is giving us by shortening these, we're able to have a much larger margin for error. Right? So that each day we have a lot more capacity that we can dictate for exercise, for that daily life that we're having. And as we're able to continue to train in a more efficient way, ideally, we end up raising our capacity to the point where we come back to this day and that snatch is still not a problem right and we can continue to increase our work volume and get in better shape by adding more work more exercise things of that nature so just really wanting you guys to think about how that day looks every day you're coming in and what you can do to prepare yourself before just walking into the gym that's the first time you've thought of how hard you're going to push for that day <laughs>